Marlon Brando. Well, Marlon Brando was, was probably the greatest actor in film, you know. Sans doute le plus grand comédien de cinéma. Uh, he and Montgomery Clift uh, were the two actors that, uh, that were the ones we admired most. Uh, most the Jimmy Dean, myself, uh, a lot of us. And then I met Dean and uh, I felt uh, that he was uh, even more advanced because of his way of expressing himself physically. Uh, et lui et Montgomery Clift, Marlon Brando et Montgomery Clift étaient les deux comédiens qu'on admirait le plus, euh, des gens comme euh, James Dean et moi. Et puis ensuite, moi, quand j'ai rencontré Dean, j'avais l'impression qu'il était encore plus grand, qu'il était allé encore plus loin à cause de sa manière de s'exprimer. Rather, rather than talking about us uh, working in Apocalypse Now, I'll give you a couple of really quick lessons that I learned from Marlon. Uh, plutôt que de uh, parler uh, d'Apocalypse Now, uh, je vais vous donner uh, très rapidement deux petites leçons que Marlon Brando uh, m'a faites. One day, uh, Lee Strasberg uh, was sick, and Paula Strasberg, his wife, came in and, and taught the class. Un jour, uh, Lee Strasberg était malade, et c'est sa femme, Paula Strasberg, qui est venue uh, prendre le cours. One of the most famous scenes that Marlon did was the back seat with Rod Seiger in, uh, uh, in On the Waterfront. Uh, Une des choses les plus célèbres que Marlon Brando ait fait était... Uh, sur la banquette arrière avec Rod Steiger dans On the Waterfront. Sur when, when, when his brother pulls a gun on him and uh, points it at him and Marlon goes, oh, wow, you're my brother, Charlie. You know, wow, how can you do this to me? You're my brother. I held that bum up for, you know, 10 rounds, whatever. I mean, he was a boxer and, and he, 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 well, no. Et euh, au moment où son frère vient et pointe son arme contre lui, et Marlon Brando dit, mais t'es mon frère, comment est-ce que tu peux faire ça So Paula asked Marlon what he was using in that scene when he played the scene. Et Paula a demandé à Marlon euh, de quoi il s'était servi pour jouer cette scène. Which is like using something real in a moment-to-moment -moment reality situation, using something real that has nothing to do with the character or the part you're playing. Uh, C'est-à-dire importer quelque chose de vrai euh, dans euh, la, la scène qui n'a rien à voir avec ni la scène ni le personnage. So Marlon told her that what he used was that Rod Steiger had been imitating him through the whole movie. <laughs> Marlon a répondu que ce dont il, il s'était servi, c'était le fait que depuis le début du tournage, Rod Steiger l'imitait. So he was saying, how can you do this to me, man? <laughs> really a really good actor. You're my brother actor. How are you? Tom, please, you know, please. You know? That's what he was using in that scene. But he also had a character built on that. He was deaf in one ear. He could only hear out of the other because he was a boxer. He walked like a boxer. He, you know, there were other things that he had going, uh, a speech pattern and so on. But Donc il, il s'était servi de, de ça, de ce sentiment que... Il voulait dire à Rod Steiger, mais tu es mon frère, on est tous les deux comédiens, comment est-ce que tu peux faire ça, comment est-ce que tu peux m'imiter Et il avait importé ça dans la scène, mais il avait aussi un personnage euh, de base, c'était un boxeur, euh, il, il marchait d'une certaine manière, euh, il, il avait une oreille qui ne fonctionnait pas. So anyway, that's what he used, the simple reality of, uh, that he had been imitating him through the movie. Now, one other example. Donc, il se servait de la simple réalité que Rod Steiger limitait pendant, depuis le début du tournage. Donc, un deuxième exemple. I was under contract to Warner Brothers. J'étais sous contrat à la Warner. Marlon was making a movie called Sayonara. Uh, Marlon tournait un film qui s'appelait Sayonara. He was working with a Japanese, young Japanese actress who had not really worked before. Et il travaillait avec une jeune comédienne japonaise qui était très peu expérimentée. And there was, let's put an imaginary line here, and, and the camera is shooting this way, and Marlon is behind the camera with the actress. The camera's shooting this way. And he's playing with her hair and whispering something in her ear. 
And she's reacting and he's doing this. Et donc, euh, la caméra est euh, de ce côté-là. Et Marlon et la jeune comédienne sont derrière la caméra. Il est en train de tripoter ses cheveux et de chuchoter quelque chose dans son oreille. So Josh Logan, who was the director, Marlon was fighting with all the time and just ignored him. Just, he <laughs> just ignored him. That's all. Yeah. Et Josh Logan, qui était le, le metteur en scène avec lequel euh, euh, Marlon Brando se, se disputait tout le temps, euh, a, a juste fait comme si de rien n'était. So as they were lighting the scene, Marlon takes her around and now they're now in front of camera. Et pendant que yeah. et, il, He's got uh, her over here and now the camera's shooting this way and he's still talking to her and, and whatever. And, uh, but now they're in front of camera and they're on their marks. But she isn't aware of that because he sort of led her around. Et uh, pendant qu'ils installent les lumières, uh, Marlon conduit la jeune comédienne de l'autre côté de la caméra et continue à lui tripoter les cheveux. Et, et maintenant, ils sont dans l'axe euh, de la caméra, mais en fait, elle ne s'en rend pas compte parce qu'il euh, a continué comme si de rien n'était à lui tripoter les cheveux et c'est lui qui l'a amené là. So Josh Logan says, Are you ready, Marlon? Marlon doesn't say anything, he's just like this. He's still talking. And so Logan says, Roll him, you know, action. And Marlon, like, is still doing this, what he was talking to the girl, playing with her hair, and now suddenly he's doing the dialogue in the movie. And she's doing the dialogue in the movie. And she's real. Because he's made her real. And he's made her relaxed. And like, you know, and he's uh, a caring guy as an actor. And he wants the scene to be good. <laughs> It's not just about him. He wants the scene to play. And that way you can work with people who've never worked before. If you, your ego allows you to join them in, get them into the thing, and they become real. You know, you have to allow them that, but they have no hang-ups, they have no compulsions about acting because they're not acting. You have given them a situation, an imaginary situation, which becomes real to them, and they're not acting anymore. They're relating to you, and you're relating to them. And then you just put in what you need as your story progresses, you know, as, you know, your story points need to be in that scene. Yeah, that's all. Et, et donc, euh, Josh, euh, Josh Logan euh, dit « Est-ce que vous êtes prêts ?» et, et Brando répond « Rien » et il dit euh, « Tournez, action » et tout d'un coup, euh, ils sont dans la scène et Brando est en train de dire ses répliques. La fille dit ses répliques, mais elle ne joue pas parce que ça continue comme avant, rien n'a changé, elle est complètement, elle est complètement détendue et, et, et c'est comme ça que c'est possible de tourner avec quelqu'un euh, qui n'a jamais tourné, qui n'est pas un professionnel. En, en, en créant des circonstances où ils sont détendus, en créant la circonstance imaginaire où ils peuvent donner euh, ce qu'ils veulent donner. Et c'est une question d'ego. Il, euh, il faut avoir suffisamment peu d'ego euh, pour vouloir, comme Brando, donner tout pour la scène, que la scène soit réussie. And, and, and Brando uh, was the one who, uh, he didn't fight the battle. He had won the battle with Kazan of being able to block his own scenes. Uh, Uh, do his own thing in all the movies that he was in. Uh, it was never a question of uh, somebody telling Marlon how to do his part. <laughs> he wouldn't have been there for five seconds. Et Brando n'avait pas à se battre. Il avait gagné contre Kazan le droit de décider comment il se déplaçait. Et euh, personne lui disait ce qu'il fallait faire. Et si quelqu'un lui avait dit ce qu'il fallait faire, cinq secondes plus tard, il aurait été euh, plus là. And Montgomery Clift was the same way. Montgomery Clift had a contract that said he would only work with five directors in Hollywood. And they were the five top directors. But not to be directed by them, to be in their films, because they were great storytellers. Et Montgomery Clift, uh, c'était la même chose pour lui. Et dans son contrat, il était spécifié qu'il ne travaillerait qu'avec cinq metteurs en scène d'Hollywood, qui étaient les cinq meilleurs uh, uh, metteurs en scène d'Hollywood, non pas parce qu'il voulait être dirigé par eux, mais parce qu'ils voulaient être dans leur film, parce que c'était des grands narrateurs. Et James Dean uh, had total uh, uh, autonomy when he was working with Kazan and with Nick Ray, but when he got to George Stevens, they did nothing but fight. Yeah. Et James Dean avait une autonomie totale quand il travaillait 
euh, avec Nick Gray et quand il travaillait avec Kazan et quand euh, il a travaillé avec Joel St Stevens, ils n'ont ils, ils pas arrêté de se disputer. And Stevens was a great director, but they, uh, he didn't understand Jimmy's uh, wanting to improvise in his great script. And et Steven, c'était un grand cinéaste, mais il ne comprenait pas pourquoi euh, Jimmy voulait improviser alors que le scénario était si fort. So, following these, uh, these three people <coughs> along the merry path, uh, Jimmy died uh, two weeks before we finished Giant, and uh, I then went off to work with Hathaway uh, and try to block my own <laughs> scenes. And I, I wasn't a star, I wasn't Marlon Brando, I wasn't James Dean, and I wasn't Montgomery Clift. And Hathaway owned 40% of 20th Century Fox. It was a very bad move for me to try my new method acting <laughs> with Hathaway. And so that ended my career. But I did get to go and study with uh, Strasbourg for five years, and that it was worth it, because he was a great teacher for me. And uh, thank you very much for today. Mm. Thank you. It's a great honor being here.